off I go. <laughs> yeah, bugger it, I'll go too. Right, shout if you see a crocodile. Oh, don't worry, we will. I don't know if... I don't know if this spell can be taught to... What are you guys? You're a pre... You're a... You're a cleric and you're a... Bard. A bard, okay. So. Well, there are there are crossovers. Do you know how to... Uh, we'll, we'll do to Yeah, I'm looking it up right now. Loading disc. Here, actually, this is a super handy site that... Yeah. I use all the time. Yeah. Is it dungeon? Sure. What are you looking for? Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's this one I put in the Discord. It's fucking awesome. Oh. Uh, Kalius, you're unable to make anything out from, like, the snow and no. whatnot. You're not from L6 either, so it makes sense that you just don't even know it does, shit. Yeah. And, uh, Aiden, you sort I of, like... like... I like the idea of, um, like, it's heavy snow outside and the range is, like, and just disappears into the night. And then Kalius takes one step outside the bubble and she's like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Longshore, you're able to... You, you sort of know what fallen logs to look through and whatnot, and you always manage to come across like a rabbit sort of hidden inside the logs trying to cuddle itself or warmth or whatnot. Uh, you come across, as you do this for like a few hours if you will, you come across like maybe five large, fairly large rabbits. Um, oh, I can teach you to detect magic. Sorry. As soon as they smell you they're just like, oh. Hey, come kill me. And they just <laughs> run up to your legs waiting for you to kill them. I stomp them and then take them back. Ah, you, this, uh, you come across, you come out with about eight rations worth of rabbit meat. Sick. And Boy. as Kalius is sort of trudging along with Longshore, could the both of you also roll perception? Well, it's not a horrible note, but it's not exactly a good one, so... I oh, mean, I'm not... Mean this particular expedition. Yeah, it's... it's... like, why did you even come? <laughs> <laughs> I felt uh... guilty, alright? Fight me. So as Carlos is spending most of his attention looking at the floor to try and look for berries and whatnot, uh, Longshore, you spot off in the distance, deep in the woods, there are two Vestigard soldiers sort of walking oh. alongside each other, and they're like... Shh, Sort of like um, rubbing their forearms and whatnot and shivering. Uh, with that roll, you can actually hear what they're speaking. And one says to the other, It's fucking cold out here. You sure this is a good idea? Shut up, shut up. L6 is gone. We've won the war. Now it's time to get that loot. And they continue along. How heavily armor got there? Uh, fairly low tier soldiers. So, like, hide armor if that. I, I point them out to Kalias and I'm just like, wanna go? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Alright, uh, are they within 60 feet? Yes. They, they, oh, gonna, you, yeah, you'd be able to sneak up close to them because they're not going to expect you. I'm just going to roll up a battle map. Just oh, for fun now, formalities. Uh, look at you. Oh, there we go. Yay. <laughs> and I'm. Oh, sorry. Uh, this will just be Longshore and um, Kali as yeah. they encounter some people. Where should we put ourselves? Um, let's say, like there, like some, okay. Way. As they're walking side by side, alrighty. So, I'm going to oh, roll yeah, stealth. Round? Yeah, yeah, I will. I'll just okay. roll initiative first. Cheap pushy. <laughs> that 22. Damn it. Alright. 
So, Longshot, you pick a target. Which one did you choose? Uh, this one, though. Oh, oops. That's not a ruler. <laughs> uh, this one over here. Okay. Just Roll your damage for the... So you let loose an arrow that immediately hits him in the back, square in the center, and you hear the cracking of bone as he sort of takes a knee before standing back up, and it becomes Carly's sister. I, I was aiming for the back of his knee, actually. Yeah, I'm aware. Okay. So, I'm going to set myself up here, just making sure of distance. Oh yeah, plenty. And I am going to attack this fucker here, whoops, this fucker here, with my short bow, and sneak attack. Does that hit? Yes, it does. Roll your damage. Uh, this was to the one on the right, right? I didn't see the arrow. Yeah, it's that right. one there. Gotcha. Oh, just occurs to me I should have done that at an advantage. Oh well. So you sort of hit him in the back with your arrow. It also drives deep into his shoulder blade. And you see him sort of like lean forward a little bit before he stands back up and turns around to face who just shot him. As does the other dude. And at this point I'm hiding behind a tree as well. Yep. All right, is that the end of your turn? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, could the two of you also roll stealth? Just to see if you get the bonus round or not. Oh, oh shit, you're gonna yeah. You're that for sure. Yeah, so you do get the bonus round. Uh, long shot, your turn. Oh, sick. All right. And so this will be an advantage. No, this is just normal now. Apologies to the other three that I'm cucking so hard on. <laughs> Roll damage for your phone. Oh, get fucked. So you managed to nail the first guy in between the eyes as he popped over dead. And then the next arrow flies wildly off into the distance. You don't even know where it goes. And it does <laughs> absolutely nothing. Yep. As it becomes Mr. Dead Guy's turn, and it ends his turn to Carly. Yep. So I don't get the sneak bonus on this one, do I? Not on this one, no. No. So another short bow, hopefully to the uh, to the in between the eyeballs. Ooh. Not you quite. let loose your short bow, and he very quickly lifts his shield, and you see the arrow snap off and onto the side of the shield. Oh, good turn. So, your turn. at this point I'm climbing up into the tree to make sure I'm hiding <laughs> well in the foliage. Fair enough. Oh, uh, there is no foliage. I know the map's green, but technically snow. Oh. Okay. Well, I sort of duck over here a little bit, put some distance between us, yeah, and that's my turn. As it becomes the lone surviving soldier's turn, he takes a look towards the two of you, considers his chances, and he immediately throws his weapons away, ducks down to his friend, picks something up, and starts sprinting the other way. Good luck. Weaving in and out between the trees as it becomes long shots. Is he more than 600 feet away? No, but the trees will provide a bit of cover for him. Apparently not enough cover. <laughs> Roll the <laughs> Alright, so for everyone who's in the dome, please roll perception. It's just an explosion of blood in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Again with the same natural perception. Okay. <laughs> you, you guys see this coming from a mile away, but essentially the guard, like the soldier sort of runs towards the dome, catches an arrow in the back of his throat, and then he falls down in such a way he can't pass through the dome, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're... sorry, so, my mic was off again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he no, can't he pass can't. through the dome. So he just like slumps down onto the dome in this awkward angle. Or if you're like <laughs> leaning down on a recliner, but like with your chest to the f and he's leaning on the side of the d a little bit of blood sort of seeps through the bottom of the dome into the dome itself. Huh. As you that seems to have went well. <laughs> oh, there's the ranger. So I go over and loot the bodies. Uh, so on the first guy, you find a short sword and a shield. Sick. Yep. And you also find 16 silver pieces. Take the 16 silver. Um, did you need a short sword there, Aiden? Uh, no, I'm good, but I would like some of that gold. All right, I'll swap you. I'll have the short sword. You have the um, silver. All right, sounds good. Duh. Thank you, sir. And that's for the other dude. Oh, that's the other dude. Okay. Mm -hmm. The guy by the dome. Yep. And what was the thing he picked up from his friend? His gold. Oh, it's his gold. Okay. Yeah, he just so... has 32. Rude. Yeah. Alrighty. Wes, well, other than that, nothing else seems to perturb the night. I believe as everyone goes to sleep. I love to imagine that, like, everyone's, um... Just discussing spells and shit, and then like this dead body just splats against the side of the dome, and blood just oozes. And it's like, oh, good, Aiden's back. Yeah, <laughs> Tobias doesn't think like it's just business as usual now. He's kind of a bit <laughs> used to it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you all take the long rest, uh, the rest of the night goes undisturbed. You regain all your spell slots and all your health and half your hit dice if you spent. As you wake up in the morning, two hundred and. Uh, 120 XP smarter. Yahoo! Oops, I clicked the wrong button. That's not good. What was that, 120 XP smarter? Yeah. <laughs> so we should be on that, right? Correct. Awesome. I don't trust my math, but... <laughs> Oh, nice to have all my hit points back. <laughs> I know, right? Amazing. See, if I was a squishy mage, uh, sorry, a, squish, a squishy wizard, my apologies, and uh, I'd had that encounter the other day, I would have probably died. <laughs> like straight oh, up. Oh, yeah. 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 Alright, so uh, I assume you guys are going to proceed deep into the swamp. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys pack up camp and you set out for the morning, also take a ration off if you haven't already. Uh, you start to see the swamp in the distance and you immediately smell sort of like rotten plants and a bit of, I guess, rotten flesh. It's like animal carcasses and whatnot. It merely turns the nose a little bit. And the fog itself sort of makes it a little bit hard for you to make out the main direction, unless anyone is able to avoid this. I don't think so. <clears throat> what, sorry? Uh, the fog makes it hard to chart your way through this swamp. Oh, I definitely have a cartography, so... <laughs> yeah, buddy. You say that, but oh. we saw your map from the, uh... Yeah. From yeah. the... Yeah. Well, I was, well, that was a bit of a joke, but I oh, know, right? Like, you have navigators, <laughs> navigators' tools and cartographers' tools. Give me a sec. Cool. I love the idea of these. Navigators' so tools. Let's see. Can you roll the other one? The cartographers. Yeah. yeah. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Yeah. Mm... Correct me if I'm wrong, but cartography is like you're drawing the map as you go, right? Yeah. So if you've never been here before... No, it's useless, so that's why I was using navigator's tools. <laughs> but navigator's tools for sea travel. Uh, is it only for sea travel? 
I'm pretty sure. I thought it was like map and compass. <laughs> like just... Xanathar's, Xanathar's outlines all the, all the tools way better. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for navigation apps. Navigating, I see. Great, great, great. Pointing that out. Thank you. Do, we have, do you have a compass though? Because that would keep us traveling like, relatively straight. Do have a compass, of course. Yeah. Cool. So we won't oh. just wander in circles. Well, then, in that case, uh, you start traveling into the swamp like you. You know about it. It should be in the center of the swamp. So you just sort of keep an eye on the compass as you travel along and it points you towards the right direction. Uh, uh, mar marching order, boys. Ah, uh, yeah. He was on the middle. <laughs> yeah, step out in front. I'll, I'll be right behind, um, uh, Thorin. I think it's Thorin? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so as you start to come into the swamp, immediately you see a dirt track that sort of leads deeper in. But as soon as you step on it, you sink into about a slightly above ankle height, so like shin height of mud. And you just hear it, like, squelching beneath your feet and it slows down your travel a little. You should be careful for quicksand. Mm, I get my ten. Shitty way to lose a character. I have a ten. <laughs> foot I have a ten foot walking stick just for this purpose. <laughs> do you want to? Do you two want to move out in front, Mister Ranger and Walking Stick Man? Mm, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the walking stick then. <laughs> yeah, there you are. Yeah, thanks, man. I just poke around in front of me as I move. Yeah, you do. Uh, with that in mind. Who was the one who suggested quicksand? Me. Uh, you get an uh, inspiration. Yeah. Uh, so as you sort of poke around, eventually you hit a small part of the mud that, like, just sucks your stick in. Dang oh. it! <laughs> you owe me one of those. <laughs> Wait, do I, I lose the stick? Roll strength. <laughs> oh, shit! It's like someone underground just crying. Oh, no! You lose the stick. It just oh, no. right in. What the fuck? I hold my hands out so no one steps past me. Can I mage hand grab the uh, the um, the stick, or is that impossible? Uh, I believe there's a limit to the weight it can carry, and if yeah, that's the case, that's impossible. Okay, cool. <clears throat> yeah, I turn around and be like, "Hey, that's not like I just dropped it. It was sucked in." You, you is there any? The is there any the stick starting to sink it? Is there any tree branches or anything nearby? Because we're gonna need another stick. <laughs> Oh, it's just starting to sink in. It's still visible. Only the tip of it. Oh. Uh, and by the time you consider this, it sinks in. But yes, yeah. there are some dead branches and whatnot laying nearby on the... Sort of just on the floor, really. Just above the mud and whatnot. Yeah, I'll mage head uh, one of them over to, to do and, Facebook uh, I guess to paint a little bit of a clearer picture, you all are on the main dirt road, and anything off to the side is like watery, swampish, marsh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll mage hand to stick over to Mr. Dudeface in the front, Thorin. As it's like floating towards me, I'm like, can you get the mud off it? I just give it a quick shake. I mean, you've got the, uh, the, the Presti what's it? I'm not an arcane caster. <laughs> that yeah, one. Yeah, Presti digitation, yeah. I'll clean it using that. Yeah, why not? <laughs> so, as you do say, and, uh, yeah, you just get the stick right into Thorin's hand. Cool. And you you all hear like sort of like the swampy background noise, you know, like various crickets and you know frogs and whatnot. Feels a little bit more jovial than what you'd imagine from a swamp like this. Turn the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> but all yeah, right. uh, you you guys still continue onto the main road. How do you avoid this little bit? So uh, if you're on the dirt path directly in front of you, the dirt path is what sucked your stick in, and to either side is the swampy, watery part. Well, if, if we gently lay down Tobias over there... <laughs> this is where we are, right? Yeah. Okay. I've heard in... in uh... I have a map and I totally forgot. I've, I've heard in hushed whispers that, um... Still flotation devices. The what? Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> the cinder blocks make great flotation devices. Yeah. Just strap them to your feet and you'll be good to go. Uh, don't move yourself, Flick. Oh, cool. Just have to resize you. Alright, Let's put on some concrete flippers and go for a swim. Uh -huh. We could try like a running jump, but I don't know how far it goes or if right, I so trust I'm myself. Say, as you, as you soon as he says that, 
Okay, as soon as he says that, I just turn around and just stare at him. Just deadpan. <laughs> just like... Hey, I'm just throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks. What's... what's... what's the obstacle? There's... It's, it seems to be... a lot deeper. But it's... what, what has me concerned is that I was... it wasn't like I was poking around and I dropped it. I poked around and it was wrenched out of my hand. I, I grab the stick out of his hand and I hurl it using mage hand as far as I can, preferably at least 30 feet in that direction. Oh, it, probably, it probably doesn't hurl it as much as it does slowly float out and then drop it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, it just sits on the top of the mud. It doesn't sink? Nope. Poke it All down. Right. Fuck it, YOLO! No, uh, I, put, <laughs> I grab him. <laughs> character death in the first session. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I say, um, po poke it down into the mud. Whatever's down there reacted to me poking it, not being nearby. Right, so I use the mage hand to poke it down into the mud. Pushing oh, it down. and roll mage hand for me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, precisely 30 feet away, so. Mm. So if you were to push it down with... Oh, yeah, that's about enough. Yeah, you sort of use your mage hand to shove the stick into the... And it just... <laughs> gets sucked in as well. Oh, okay, fuck that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, maybe try to, like, either side of the path? <sighs> we need more sticks. <laughs> put the mage hand. Put the mage hand down there. You can just re reconjure one, can't you? Yeah, but the mage hand. I can't feel what's on the mage hand. I can't feel feedback or anything. It's better than wasting a billion sticks. What? What do you mean? Poke yeah. the mage hand down. What does that achieve? Well, you'll be able to tell where the edge is instead of having to like prod around with sticks, losing a stick, finding another stick. You can just no, be like, oh, the mage hand. We're in a swamp. Down. There's you can use shit. the mage hand to interact with something, but you can't feel with the mage hand. You have to be able to see it can to you, interact. So can you tell where it is in relation to you? No, I have to be able to see it. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Is there, is there another stick on the road? Oh yeah, plenty. Like, yeah, bunch of dead sticks all over the place. You guys are having a pointless argument here. Just take another oh. stick. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, think it's, that. See if it gets like sucked into either side. We might just be able to walk around. Yeah, so I'll right. deploy it in a. Th I'll deploy a bunch of sticks in the thirty foot radius from where I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then, how long do you do this for? Uh, like, I don't know, another another minute or so. Takes us like three hours. <laughs> right, uh, so, a thirty foot radius around you guys, or around the where you first spotted the. Uh. From from my position because I can't do it any other way. Yeah, I'll do it in an arc that focuses on this direction though. So like that. Oh yeah, all right, gotcha. All right, so you put several sticks around. I'm not gonna. I'm pushing them down. Out. Yep. All right, so you would know that danger zone, if you will, in that arc that you just did, would be there. Oh okay. Like all the sticks that are there have sunk in, except for the anything outside of that doesn't sink in. Okay, I give Thorin a final stick, and I'm like. But onward, after indicating the, uh, the sticks that have already sunk down and the sticks that haven't. Alright, I poke around in front of me as I move. Poke, step, poke, step. As you step off the main muddy path and you get into the deep, dark, swampy water, uh, once you take the first step, you immediately sink to about waist height. Come here! Are you, is he still sinking or is it that just the no, depth? No, no, it's just like, that's the depth of the water. Okay. Yeah. Oh, ew. What uses no, you this? Actually, stick? sink a little bit more because you're heavy. Well, yeah, since I'm... it's since it's a cantrip for me, I'm gonna cast minor illusion on Thorum to make him feel like he's dry and not icky. <laughs> That's fine. Yep. All right. So I wade through. I'm still poking just to make sure I've got sure footing. Poke, oh, I probably. Poke. I'm just looking at it. Hold on. It'd actually have to be prestidigitation, or maybe like yeah. a hybrid, whatever. And prestidigitation only covers a small area. But anyway, sorry, you still feel pretty gross, and the swamp bile is sort of filling into your boots and everything. <laughs> oh, this is, the, you down. this is the fucking worst. And then, as you walk forward, roll a dex save. Dun, dun, dun. 
Oh, that's not a save. That's the same. Oh, fuck me. Oh. I'm not nimble. Oh, hang on. Something just occurred to me. Um, I activate my boots of water walking and just. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're Thorin, all very happy you feel, for you, Aiden. Thorin, you feel something at the bottom of the sword that you kick against, and you immediately fall forward, uh, face first into the water. And then I hold, my, I hold my breath. Under... In... Oh, Aiden, drag him up. But then I'll get my hand dirty. <laughs> I'll clean so, it for you afterwards. <laughs> and you can't see anything at all. You're also blind. Just from Can I try and stand? No, I, I do. I do reach a hand down and try and pull him up. Or uh, will that break my? Can, can you like walk from here instead? You wouldn't be on that side, would you? If you're from the back of the party and you'd like walk out to here and then over to him. If he's got oh. his boots on, then he should be fine. Yeah. Like oh, right, right, right. Gotcha. Yeah. But in that case, uh, you reach down to try to grab Thorin. But you don't. Yeah, well, that's yeah, 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 For now, no. Because it's okay. not that exertive yet. But you can only see like uh, uh, the back crest of his breastplate. Can I try and stand? The upper part of his back. You can try and roll strength. <laughs> you push your hands into the bottom of the mud where the swamp is, and they seem to get pushed deeper in and get. Um, can I like hook my fingers under his uh, collar and pull him up? As Thorn does that, he's fully submerged under water. I thought I was reach underneath. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I would like to take this moment to remind everyone that with quicksand, if you don't panic, you do float to the top eventually, provided you're not wearing heavy armor. <laughs> yeah, that last detail <laughs> is very important. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Longshot, if you do ro like reach down to pull Thorin, can you roll the strength for me as well? Yep. He doesn't budge. I you shout give, encouragement good, to Aiden. But he uh, doesn't budge. Your boots are still okay then. Uh, I'm gonna use that, uh, Bardic Inspiration, and then yes, try again. 1d8. Oh, uh, <laughs> as soon as you try to pull Thorin, you know, forces and all that, your boots deactivate, and as you yank <laughs> upwards, you shove yourself deep into the floor. Uh, Excellent. That's the opposite are... of what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you're up to your shoulders. Well, I mean, up to your chest in swamp water. Fantastic. And your feet are stuck in the deep mud underneath. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. And then it suddenly occurs to you that Danger Zone stretches out. 